Children, keep with your sense to cook. Myself, I am going to teach for your safety and first aid. Safety and first aid. Keep with you a notebook. Pencil. Listen to me, children. Concentrate here. Safety in first aid. Okay. To the means continue to the straight to topic children listen here yesterday we discussed the definition what is a first aid the immediate help given to person immediate help given to an injured or sick person. Immediate help given to injured or sick person is called first aid. Okay, the children concentrate here. So what we are going to provide to the sick person, okay, immediate help. What we are going to provide immediate help to the sick person or injured person is called first aid. Okay. So, what are the aims of first aid also we discussed? What is the main aim? Aim of first aid means to save lives, to make sure the condition of the injured or sick person doesn't become worse. And to keep the injured or sick person compatible till proper medical errors. Okay. Yesterday we discussed children concentrate here. If you know the knowledge of first aid, how you have to give the first aid to the person, then you can give first aid to the injured or sick person. If you don't know how you have to give that uh, first aid, how you have to provide first aid to the person. So don't go for give first aid to the person. You have proper knowledge of uh, first aid. Okay. 
Next, uh, concentrate here. And one more, dear children, concentrate here. Say, if uh, injury is small, small bumps, small scratches there. Okay, dear children, concentrate here. When you have to give the first aid means, uh, if uh, injury is small means, uh, you can give first aid. So after providing first aid to them, like a small burn or small scratch, next after that, you can call the adults for help. Roy, Roy, are you listening the topic or not? <laughs> Wait. Sir. Boy, don't discuss. Okay, don't chit chat, don't play. Concentrate about the topic next. Karthkeya. Karthkeya. Karthkeya also. Okay. Yes, mute yourself now. Karthkeya, listen. Okay, you should listen to the topic. Don't discuss. Don't discuss. Don't discuss. Okay, sir. Next. Page uh, is Yes, mute yourself over there. Sound coming. Okay. Mute yourself. Mm. Oh. Four, five. Okay, next uh, now. Concentrate here. You should concentrate here, children. Next, uh, listen to me. So now concentrate. Dear children, understand here. See? So, to the topic, everyone concentrate here. So, if uh, injury is serious, okay, if the injury there inside of the body, so if the injured person is in great pain, so next, what you have to do? If there is any maybe broken, bones, broken bones or internal bleeding. In that situation, do not try to give the first aid. Okay. Do not try to give the first aid yourself. So immediately you can call your elders. Call your elders for helping. Okay. Next, uh, children, concentrate here. So now today we have to discuss about to, for cuts and the scratches. But cuts and scratches. See, scratches means uh, you may write that in your notebook. What is the meaning of uh, scratches? Okay, dear children, concentrate here. What I am writing that you should write uh, in your notebook. Okay, make a long mark. Make a long mark. Make a long mark. Make a long mark. Wound and wound. Wound 
அனிய சர்பேஸ் உன் அனிய சர்பேஸ் ஊண்டானிய சர்பேஸ் மேக் ஏ லாங் மார்க் ஊண்டானிய சர்பேஸ் வித் சம்திங் வித் சம்திங் ஷார்ட் சம்திங் ஷார்ட் ஆர் பாயிண்டே pointed make a long mark on any surface with something sharp or pointed okay dear children concentrate you should open your videos sir everyone okay why everyone open your videos sir so concentrate about the topic see what is the meaning of scotches means sir make a long mark wound on a surface with something sharp or pointed okay so sometimes you can identify that okay say is a boy kartikeya 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 is a near is a next uh, watch friends well before watch friends is someone raised their hands over there okay dear children concentrate here watch your hands well before you help the injured person this will get right of germs which can enter the body through cuts and wounds and cause infection if the cut or scratch is small wash it with soap and uh, plenty of water yesterday we discussed the chillum concentrate here okay so for removing the germs the chillum concentrate here when you are going to give the treatment to the injured person means so first you wash your hands you should wash your hands okay so after washing your hands sir, next what you do the chillum concentrate here okay then you can when you are going to give treatment means uh, first aid to the injured person okay so what you have to do first you have to wash your hands okay next uh, the children concentrate here when you are going to wash your hands means uh, what happens uh, that removes the germs that get rid of uh, germs okay means uh, if you cannot wash your hands means uh, okay so where you are going to give that first aid means uh, okay is there chance to enter is there chance to enter these germs okay listen here which can enter the body through cuts and wounds and cause infection if the cut or scratch is small wash it with soap and plenty of water okay dear children concentrate here okay so cut or scratch is small means sir what you have to do you should wash with uh, soap and uh, plenty of water okay so dear children concentrate here after cleaning that uh, wound what you have to do you have to apply antiseptic cream okay dear children concentrate here next uh, after that you should cover with the uh, plaster clean plaster or bandage okay you should cover with the uh, okay you should cover that wound with the uh, clean plaster a bandage next uh, dear children concentrate here if the cut is very deep okay bleeding heavily if they bleeding heavily okay releasing blood that means uh, bleeding and blood releasing heavily so what you have to do you should wash that first wound with water next uh, clean the area around the wound with soap and water then try to stop that bleeding by pressing down the wound pressing down the wound you have to press that okay below that wound okay with a pad of clean cloth pad of how you have to how you have to stop that bleeding means the children concentrate here okay myself observing few of the students not putting efforts not concentrating just they sat in front of the textbook but doing something observing what kaya what kaya listen to me you 
you should understand the topic here yeah. what are you talking what are you doing what are you doing there be attention so you should dry the wound with the antiseptic cream okay what about the two after cleaning the wound okay so if your cut is very deep means okay and bleeding heavily means what you do first you should wash with the wound with water next what you do you have to clean that area okay area around the wound okay you have to clean around the wound with the soap and water okay next uh, you should try to that stop the bleeding by pressing down means uh, pressing below the wound okay with a pad of a clean cloth or cotton wool okay the children concentrate here means uh, until the bleeding stops okay you have to do that until the bleeding stops again the work chest to another means you have to do okay so if uh, bleeding still continuous if the bleeding still continuous place another pad on top and uh, continue pressing it okay so if uh, bleeding still continues what you do if uh, bleeding still continues means uh, you have to apply another pad you have to place another pad on top next uh, continue pressing it this is most important dear children concentrate here okay so means uh, next uh, concentrate here if uh, wound doesn't stop bleeding a bandage or strip of cloth uh, is called a tourniquet tourniquet is used to cut off the flow of blood from the head to the wound it is a uh, wrap thinly but not to okay the children concentrate here say so at the time of when you are going to try that uh, when you are going to try in the stop of the blood okay stop of uh, bleeding blood okay see if not uh, stop that bleeding okay so next uh, what you have to do means sir the children concentrate here see one bandage means sir is if a cloth it should be taken to actually that is called a tourniquet tourniquet okay tourniquet means sir uh, it is used to cut off the cloth blood from the heart to the wound okay actually it is grab it only means uh, their children concentrate here say grab it okay but not to tightly okay you understand okay see what is a tourniquet okay here you can identify that the bandage is used for the deep cut okay you can observe the diagram sir you can observe the diagram sir bandage is used for a deep cut okay torn pit for the deep cut torn pit for the deep cut so dear children concentrate here okay so what you do you have to do torn pit torn pit means sir, what is meant by torn pit means sir okay this is used for means uh, used to cut up the flow of blood okay from heart to wound heart to the wound means uh, if blood bleeds continuously means what happens means sir uh, okay that is very dangerous okay so the percentage of blood decreases in the body human body means sir uh, okay if there is a result okay means uh, danger condition so due to that you should control that uh, bleeding of that blood as soon as so that's why torn pit is the method is there what is mean by torn pit means sir okay torn pit uh, means it is used to cut up the flow of blood from the heart to the wound how should be wrapped uh, thinly means sir the children concentrate here okay see two or three times around the limb about uh, five to ten centimeters above the wound and uh, not a leave the torn pit in place till you reach the reach a doctor dear children concentrate here okay so bandage you have to apply bandage over to the wound okay means uh, for stopping the blood continuously stopping the blood continuously means uh, if blood bleeds continuously means uh, 
water pencil throw it observing throw it throw it be attention here see so what you do means sir you have to apply bandage okay see where the uh, blood flow continuously means but cut off the uh, flow of blood okay from the heart to one what you do you have to apply bandage okay so wrap means here you may write that uh, wrap means what is the meaning of uh, wrap okay see previously given that uh, you know wrap you may write that here wrapped you may write that p p double p here double r a p p e d wrapped double r a p p e d wrapped okay enclose something enclose enclose something right what is the meaning of uh, wrap means uh, enclose something enclose something in paper in paper rahul uh, roy right enclose something in paper or soft or soft material soft material soft material enclose something in paper or soft material okay we are children concentrate here okay so like this okay paper or soft material what we have to do we have to apply over to the deep cut over to the deep cut that is only torn cut that method okay so you have to apply two to three times around the limb what is the meaning of limb means arm or leg limb means arm or leg okay and arm or leg or or leg okay so 5 to 10 cm above the bone and not yet not yet ante ee vidhanga alladam okay alladam ante mudiveyadam ee vidhanga without to losing without to opening that okay so where we have to leave the torment means sir leave the tourniquet in place till you reach a doctor yes okay after reaching near to the doctor then you have to remove the tourniquet till then you have to don't remove the tourniquet okay next uh, dear children concentrate here if you deep for cut it there if you blood bleeds continuously without stopping then you can apply this method means uh, tourniquet method what is tourniquet means sir uh, okay it is used to cut up the flow of blood from the heart to the womb okay see the children concentrate here here you have to apply that uh, wrap okay wrap firmly means sir uh, okay so what you have to you have to apply okay bandage you are applying you know okay so over the wound okay three to four times okay depend upon the wound depend upon the bleeding of the blood okay next uh, now you can identify you have to understand next uh, concentrate here see in case of deep wound rest the injured person to a doctor the doctor may have to stitch the wound to close it the doctor may also decide to give an injection to the injured person to prevent a dangerous disease called tetanus yes 
okay you till the bomb that it get for example deep wound is there what you do you have to rush means uh, immediately you can go near to the doctor okay immediately you can go near to the doctor okay in case of deep wound is the injured person to a doctor okay see next uh, what you can do means doctor means uh, doctor you may help to stitch the wound to yes stitches put to waste the stitch and put to waste okay is an ear and closing that wound up okay next uh, doctor may also decide to give an injection yes what is that to prevent the dangerous disease called tetanus tt injection without uh, getting any septic septic cavity okay you know that without getting say infection what uh, you can give means you can give injection you can give an injection to the injured person to prevent from disease dangerous disease that is only called tetanus okay first what you to do in four deep four blood okay bleeding is continuously okay uh, deeply that uh, the children concentrate here if a wound is uh, deep there okay and uh, if a uh, blood doesn't stop sir okay blood whatever the two not stop uh, means of bleeding okay wound doesn't stop bleeding what you to mean sir okay you have to apply bandage or strip of cloth all uh, that is only called a uh, tonic cure tonic okay it is used uh, to cut up the cloth blood from the heart to the wound okay the children concentrate here so you have to means tonic means sir okay so when you have to leave the tonic it means sir okay leave the tonic it in place till the means after reaching to a doctor after reaching to a doctor you should leave the tonic it okay say next uh, if a deep wound means sir then immediately you can go near to the doctor so may doctor you stitches means sir uh, that uh, have to stitch the wound to close the close it okay so next uh, he can give the uh, injection okay he only can decide that uh, whether it is a uh, capable of uh, taking injection or not eligible for taking injection or not means sir he decides sir okay after deciding that he can provide that uh, injection that is only called uh, tt to prevent from dangerous disease tetanus next uh, for broken bones for broken bones means sir okay their accident can cause a bone to crack or break this is called a fracture the children concentrate here fracture fracture bones okay broken bone broken bone okay a bad accident bad accident can cause a bone to crack or break this is called a fracture a fracture is very painful it uh, must be attended to by a doctor the only first aid uh, you can give for a fracture is to make sure that the uh, part of the body where there seems to be a fracture is not moved that fracture is not moved it is a constant here actually broken bones what about broken bones means sir okay a bad accident okay see sometimes you can identify that you go the road so okay it uh, houses also the chillet concentrate here already we discussed you know okay see what is a uh, accident means sir what is an accident means sir okay that can happen any time any way without uh, any warning that can happen accident can happen any way any day and uh, without what okay so the children concentrate here okay so that is called fracture if they talk okay if you break the bone that is called a fracture okay fracture means uh, a fracture is a very painful yes very painful must be attended to 
by your daughter, yes. Only first aid you can give for a fracture is to make sure that the part of your body where there seems to be a fracture is not known. Fracture is not known. Your children concentrate here. Okay, see, very painful. Fracture means sir, very painful. You can identify the term. Okay, if any person fractured means sir, you can identify the term. How should be that? How he can suffer? Okay, so at that time you can must that person must be attended to a doctor to be a doctor. Okay, so whether how can you do the term? First aid to that person means sir. Okay, only can we have to give that first aid. Okay, uh, means sir. But fracture, but fracture bone or for fracture means fracture is how to be to make sure that the part of body, part of body where there seems to be a fracture is not known. If not moved means sir, then you can do that. If moved means sir, fracture means bone moved. For, for example, broken uh, bone moved means you may not do any. First aid, you may not provide any first aid. Okay, so if there is a displacement of bone, the change in the position of bone means you may not give any treatment. You may not give any treatment. Next, uh, now children concentrate here. So, in if the Fracture is uh, in the arm or head, a sling made up of cloth, sling made up of cloth will prevent movement. If the fracture is uh, in a limb, strapping, strapping, spins, strapping, spins to the injured limb will prevent further damage by preventing movement. However, this should be done only by someone who has a training in bandaging. Training in bandaging. Dear children, concentrate here. Fracture, yes, say, listen here. If there is a fracture, fractured bone means, yes, say, crop like structure there, yes. Okay. So, means, uh, dear children, concentrate here. If uh, fracture is in arm or hand or her hand. Okay, a sling, a sling means uh, you can identify the term. The children concentrate here, cut to God. Yes, that is right. Identify the term. Okay, see. Understand here how it should be the term. The children concentrate here. See how it should be the term. Upside uh, clearly mentioned here. Okay, thought of it to be discussed. Uh, how we have to apply product fit the next uh, now how we have to give the treatment to the fractured bone means sir okay fracture is uh, in the arm or hand means sir okay see a sling made of cloth to prevent okay will prevent movement yes without movement the term how it should be it can help the term if fracture in the limb okay limb means arm or leg we discussed, you know, okay, strapping, strapping. What is meant by, okay, dear children, concentrate here. Sling means, uh, you may write there, yeah, meaning sling. Sling means, uh, you may write that, uh, a loaf of fabric. A loaf, you should write in your notebook. Or textbook, a loaf of uh, fabric. A loaf of fabric used to support. A loaf of fabric used to support. Yes. A loaf of fabric used to support. Yes. A loaf of fabric we'll use it to support that is only sling. Okay. Dear children, concentrate here. Next, uh, stropping means uh, big, big, big or strong, big and strong. Sorry, big and strong and strong. Big and strong. That is a uh, stropping. 
okay stopping means sir big and strong okay so the fracture in the arm means sir is in the arm means r and means sir okay see we are children concentrate here a sling made up of cloth will prevent the movement okay usually that is only that can apply that okay see listen here if the fracture is there in the limb means sir means big or strong means big and strong sprints means sir down explain the terms okay sprints means sir down explain that a piece of metal a piece of metal here see this is the piece of metal here okay sprint here given the piece of metal A fractured bone held in place with the sprints. Yes, fractured bone held in place with the splints. Okay, see, how should be a piece of metal? Sprint means a piece of metal or plastic. Piece of metal, plastic or wood that is used to support a broken bone. Yes, yes, supported. You know, okay, by the help of wood, yes, supported. Okay, and uh, by the help of uh, the children concentrate here, the fracture bone held in place with the splints. Okay, may use here metal or may use plastic. Okay, piece of metal, plastic or wood. Okay, which is used for supporting a broken bone. Which is used for supporting a broken bone. Okay, the children concentrate. That is called a sprint. Okay. So, whether you have to apply yourself to this? No. Okay, the children concentrate here. Say, yes, means here we, okay, fracture is in the limb means, sir. Strong and uh, big splint. Okay. To the injured limb will prevent further damage by preventing movement. Yes, at the time of movement, what happens it may not damage in further. So this would only okay that gives support to the bone. However, this should be done only by someone who had who has had training in bandaging. Yes. Okay, in some places you can identify the term. They may doctor may provide better bandage, okay, for the fraction bones. Here you can identify the term, okay, in the lady belly. When doctor is there, okay, you can provide that cut to the and the cut to the Okay, so actually, orthopedic doctor he can provide orthopedic doctor he can provide for setting up the bone fraction bones. Okay. Orthopedician, orthopedic, orthopedician, okay, bones doctor, particularly. Next, uh, now concentrate here. So, if there is a, say, the, if you have that uh, proper knowledge of how to apply the bandage over to the fractured uh, bone, then means uh, by the support of the good means, uh, okay. Doctor only, you can do that. Orthopedic doctor only, you can do that. Okay. Is there here? Who had as the, who has had training in bandaging? Yes. If they have proper knowledge, if you have proper knowledge, means it can provide. Next, uh, now. Yes, now you can identify children. So looking back, looking back, see. So what is the uh, looking back man? So just concentrate here. So your question asked, what is the aid will you give if your friend as a wound that is bleeding slightly okay we are children concentrate here 
once again repeating the term what is uh, means what of a will you give if your friend has a wound that is bleeding slightly bleeding slightly means uh, okay the children concentrate here if uh, the cut is small if the cut is small means uh, what you could do means sir uh, okay the children concentrate here okay we can wash means i can wash with the soap and plenty of water using cotton or a clean cloth clean cloth okay next i will allow the wound to dry and uh, apply antiseptic cream apply antiseptic cream the children concentrate here okay the cut is uh, small okay in your textbook given that i didn't pay that page number 4 okay page number 4 say if the cut is uh, their children concentrate here otherwise i will write here you may write in your textbook okay what first aid will you give if your friend has a wound that is bleeding slightly that means uh, okay if the cut is small if the cut is uh, small if the cut is small i will wash i will wash it with the it with the soap and uh, soap okay this way it is soap soap and uh, plenty of water plenty of water plenty of water soap and plenty of water using using cotton sorry otherwise uh, give me right here plenty of water plenty of water using using cotton or a clean cloth a clean cloth next uh, next uh, i will all of the wound all of the wound to dry to dry and uh, apply apply antiseptic cream antiseptic cream it was there in textbook antiseptic cream antiseptic cream okay the children concentrate here so we can discuss laterally okay so let's see once again what is a first aid it means what first aid will you give if your friend has a wound that is bleeding slightly bleeding slightly if the cut is small means sir the cut is small means sir okay we can means we will wash it with the soap okay i will wash with the wash it with the soap and uh, plenty of water using cotton or a clean cloth next uh, i will allow the wound to dry and apply antiseptic cream for their textbook i will pay myself otherwise metric okay so now so we mean we can discuss uh, laterally this is time going to be limited if you have any doubt you can ask